Okay, today we're in a place called Howrah. It's an extremely busy area. As you can see, we're working over a highway here. Got a lot of big wood to get out of here. What we're gonna do is, I'm gonna hinge all of this canopy all back down in here where Scotty's standing. So using a rigging point right up high here or there, and we'll swing it all back down into here. Okay, <clears throat> got this, sorry if I can't hear me very well, it's pretty noisy. Um, <clears throat> got this X ring here. This is supplied by the Ace Tree Shop in Victoria, Australia. I'm gonna climb up here and set this X ring up. A good place to have the X ring today, I think, will be just here. So, shorten it up. This is only a small branch. Shorten that up. Put a wrap on it. Like this. Back through itself. Hopefully you can see that. This limb, inspect it. The crutch and everything here is nice and strong. That should be absolutely fine. Put this little rope through here. It's all good. And throw that down there where it'll be used later. Okay. Now, let's get a climb line in. Climb line, here we go. What are we using today? We're gonna to go MRS on an old school zigzag. So, my climb line's gonna go through here. Sometimes it's better to use a friction saver to run your rope through. That way it doesn't bind with the limb and gives you a freer moving rope. Connect him up, oh yeah. Let's go with it. It's gonna go with a good old figure of eight here. All right, connect that onto your zigzag, like this. Connect that onto the bridge. Connect that onto the bridge of your harness, like that. Oh, that carabiner's not locking properly. Just make sure of that, guys. Inspect your gear, keep your gear in good order. There we go, like that. Beauty. Oh yeah, now. Sit back down into your harness, let out a bit on your flip line, and off you go. Just like that. Zigzags, pretty nice little device. All right, got a nice little cubby house here. Be nice if every tree had a nice little workstation like this. What you do have to be careful of, is nails <laughs> t535 ixp this tree's quite big but we're going to be able to get heaps of work done with this saw as you're about to find out it'll go through most of this stuff here and then we'll get a 550 up here and get the rest of it down but anyhow t535 i've had this one now for a year and it's sick Pretty good saw. Also, a bit of rot, that's full of rot, full of ants. So there you go, you can see this thing can quite happily get through sizes like this. Okay, so we're gonna swing our first limb in now. So we set the X ring as we showed you before, and we're going to use just really thin rigging rope here. It's nothing really big, it's only 3 8 
3 8 inch um, and that's quite enough for what we're going to be doing here today. You don't need to go and buy something like 9 16 Samson or anything like that. It's just overkill. That's for really big tree work. Just a bit of 3 8 here. So I forgot to mention, not only are you going to need a climb line, you're going to need a couple of flip lines. These Petzl Grigris are unreal. Been using them now for, I don't know, probably eight years. Love them. They're actually faultless. You can't actually fault them. Alright, now that we're out here, just get your flip line on there so you're safe. Then get your rigging rope. Put him out here somewhere. Let's tie these running bow lines everywhere. I'm actually going to put a carabiner on the next one. Show you how that works. Take this one off. Somewhere. Right, we're going to try and lift this one up, Scotty, like we used to. Good work. Good work, man. Just need a little saw in there to nip him up and happy days. Okay, to, so to speed this up, you can put a carabiner on so you can just lock and load. It's not very heavy wood, so it's not going to matter. So I'm just going to tie a double fisherman, so you go over and over and then through, through there like that. Love this knot. Used to use it when I was on the fishing boats. And then what happens is it cinches up like that. Hold it around there. Now you can just lock and unlock and get going so here we go it's simple just click pull it up tight Kai do you want to take that rope please mate okay, I'll take that rope up like that and we're set to go inside the fence beautiful oh, lovely work hanging over the road put this on here there we, go. we do not want this limb down there so everything is rigged off so I can sound. Boys can take that. Okay now to lower limbs you need some sort of a control system on the ground. The best lowering devices are the Porter wrap which is what we should actually have had attached today, but the boys opted out of that situation. Um, you can go to the Ace Tree Shop to have a look at those things, Porter apps and good rigging control systems, the GRCS systems. It's actually beneficial if you're going to be doing tree work to buy one of these systems. Anyhow, go on the Ace Tree Shop and you'll see the full range. Now, because Kai didn't attach the Porter app, he goes for a bit of a swing oh, yeah, here. Luckily man. enjoyed this one, but it could be quite dangerous. You're right, Kai. <laughs> While recording this film for you viewers, I swung back to the main trunk of the tree and the GoPro got cleaned up on the way through and smashed it to bits. Bugger. Okay, so when it comes to tree work, these are just a few basic skills. This is just a few starters. Don't think you can just learn this and, and go out and start wrecking down trees. It's extremely dangerous. I've been injured and many people that are in the industry have been injured. Anyhow, take care in the trees and um, stay tuned for our next video. It's about three or four weeks away. 
don't forget to tap that little like button uh, don't forget to subscribe and leave those comments because we like to know what you guys like anyhow stay tuned and um, we'll catch you on the next one see you later